welcome back to your home. This year is already one for the record books. Someday we'll all tell the stories about what we did during the days of COVID. Even though our lives have been upended, there are things to appreciate about this shared human experience. We have tools that enable us to stay connected. We have teachers who are giving their best and most creative energy to make remote learning all that it can be. And we have caring families who are doing their best to support students and teachers as we make our way into a new school year. There are just a few things to keep in mind as we prepare to launch year 18 at EPS. Cooperation and collaboration will be asked of all of us. Please be as flexible and patient as you can be about everything. Pace yourself with regard to screen time. Try to get some exercise and some air during scheduled breaks. Stay positive. We all want to be together again, and so we shall, but we want to be healthy and happy when that moment arrives. I wish you every success as you move forward with confidence and determination on this new EPS adventure. As long as we all support one another, we will come through this experience having learned lessons otherwise unavailable to us. Be well. On behalf of my colleagues in the fine and performing arts, I'm excited to share with you that the theme for the 2021 school year is courage. To kick off the school year, the middle school cast is going to be sharing the story of courage, good and evil as told in The Hobbit. The upper school show this winter explores individual and collective courage as we tell the story of Matthew Shepard in The Laramie Project. The All School Musical uh, will be announced later this year as we learn more about what school looks like this spring. The theme of courage is present not only in our storytelling this year, but also in our daily lives as we engage in the world in new ways. As we start the school year from our home offices, kitchen tables, and bedrooms, it will require courage from each of us to gather together online and engage in real learning and art making. There are many ways for you to join us. Uh, you can audition for a show, help with backstage and post-production, be an audience member, and above all, practice courage in your daily life. Have a great year and we look forward to you joining us. Welcome new and returning students to Eastside Prep. I'm Miss Lorne. I'm one of three school counselors here to support your social emotional well-being. We want you to feel accepted and engaged in our community. And if you would like help in doing that, please know that you can reach out to each of us individually if you already have a relationship with one of us or via our new email that will go to all three of us. It is counselors at eastsideprep.org. Hello. My name is Ed Castro, and I am currently the Interim Equity, Inclusion, and Compassionate Leadership Coordinator at EPS. The important work we'll explore together in the coming school year will ensure our community is safe, welcoming, and most of all, equitable. Welcome EPS students. Welcome to the upper school. Welcome to all students. Welcome especially to new students. Welcome to faculty and welcome to new faculty in particular. We're so glad you're here. We're glad you've chosen to join us this year and we're really looking forward to making this school year a really outstanding one. Um, many of us have been working all summer. Your teachers have been working to develop engaging content for your classes, uh, to develop fun activities for advisory and clubs and other extracurriculars. Um, we on campus have been working to develop safe safety and uh, healthy protocols uh, to keep our, our campus safe and clean when we are ready to come back. Um, we want to see you in person. We miss you. We want to be together. Um, we know that it's not safe right now, but when the time comes, we're ready for that. We're prepared. So rest assured that we're going to be back together as soon as that's humanly possible. Uh, in the meantime, we want to be doing everything we can to keep the school running, to keep school uh, learning and learning happening and, in, and engaging and fun and uh, and we uh, want to do everything we can to support you as students and members of the community in the process. Uh, most especially we want to know that you're doing well. We want you to be doing well um, but if you need help if something's challenging you please reach out. We want to know that too and we want to know how we can help. Um, we also want to know how we can keep improving 
And so we're going to be asking for a lot of feedback this year from you all and looking forward to hearing from you. Um, please, please respond when those requests are, are sent out and please don't hesitate to reach out and be proactive if there's something that you think could be improved. We, we want to hear that and, and engage that conversation with you. And, uh, and in, in closing, I guess I, I want to ask uh, three things of you. Um, I want to ask that you do everything you can to stay engaged with school, to stay uh, a part of the classes that you're in, uh, participate in them, um, speak up when, when you're having a discussion, uh, you know, work together with partners when you're doing group activities and things like that. Um, secondly, I want to ask that you take care of yourselves. Um, this is, is this is really hard in quarantine uh, to stay to stay healthy uh, to have a de daily routine that gets enough sleep that uh, gets you healthy meals that gets you some exercise but that's really important right now especially and my biggest request of you is to look out for one another if you have a friend who's struggling ask what you can do to help if they need some help that you don't know how to give ask a teacher or a parent or another adult in your life what you might be able to do to help them. Um, this is how we're gonna be able to stay connected. This is how we're gonna be able to stay healthy uh, and strong. And this is what's gonna keep EPS the best freaking school in the universe. So thank you very much and welcome back to school. Welcome to this new school year, Eastside Prep. Ooh, we're so excited to get started. My name is Mr. Uswak. I am the middle school head. You can call me Mr. U. And Welcome, here we go, it's time to get started. Of course, it's not how we envisioned we'd start the school year. Of course, we were hoping to be all back together, but we're not. And still, we're gonna make the best of it. Still, we're gonna have an outstanding educational experience. Still, you are gonna be your very best self. And I'm so excited to start this year with you and to get things going. We have a really important vision here at the school, and that is to inspire you to go out there and create a better world, a better world in your home, your community, this country. And that's going to be a big focus of this year is how do we as a community make a positive impact on the world? How do we as a community make sure we're looking after one another and taking care of one another as we navigate times that none of us have been through? And to be honest, that's the thing that gives me the most hope and the most solace is that I know for a fact that it is the strength of the Eastside Prep community that is our number one asset. If you're having an off day, if things just aren't feeling right, please reach out to someone. Reach out to a classmate, an advisor, a teacher, someone you trust. Talk to one of our counselors. Your well-being is the most important thing. and You need to know that we are here for you no matter what. A couple things about school for those middle schoolers who are new to Eastside Prep. Boy, do we work hard together. Collaboration is the key. There's very little we do on our own. And even though we are remote and working from our homes, we are still going to keep that spirit of collaboration alive. Second thing, we trust you. This is an incredibly high trust environment. This is a school based on trust. And so we know that you're going to do the right thing. And so let's keep those things in mind. We work together, we trust one another. Last but not least, if you have ideas, if you have suggestions, if you wanna make a difference in the life of our school, talk to us. We are here to listen and we wanna work with you. So without further ado, have a great school year. You have a couple classes in already. You got a couple more this afternoon. And then we're going to take it from there. Hi, my name is Natalie Abel and I am joining the learning support team. I will be teaching guided study hall for fifth, sixth and seventh grade as well as being an eighth grade advisor. My name is Dana Albu and I teach Spanish too. I'm Miss Anderson. I teach seventh grade English and I'm a member of our college counseling office. I'm Mike Anderson and I teach guided study hall. Hi, I'm Jamie Andrus. I teach guided study hall and I'm the learning support coordinator. I'm Amos Balcom and I teach upper school and middle school visual art. My name is Sam Baldwin. I'm coordinating student activities, teaching drama and advising seventh graders. I'm Jeff Bandell and I teach upper school history. My name is Burton Berger. 
I teach seventh grade uh, environmental practices, local studies, and eighth grade scientific thinking three, which focuses on earth and space science. My name is Adrian Berman, and I teach middle and upper school math. I'm Ms. Boismanu, and I'm one of our school counselors. My name is Laura Botero, and I will be teaching one course of Spanish one and four courses of Spanish four. Bienvenidos. Hi, I'm Mr. Briggs. I'm the Director of Strategy, Tech, and Innovation, and I will be teaching calculus this fall. I'm Ed Castro. I teach instrumental music, and I am the Interim EICL Coordinator. I'm Vandana Chalana, and I teach yoga and mindfulness. I'm Derek Clark. I teach Web Design 2. Welcome back. My name is Anthony Clello. I'm a fifth grade history teacher, and I'm one of our process coaches on the college counseling team. My name is Ian Corey Boulay, and I'm working in learning support and teaching guided study hall. I'm Mr. Delaney. I'm the director of academic design and integration. I'm teaching undercover economics this fall, the evolution of society in the winter, and urban planning in the spring. My name is Mr. Galuti, and I teach visual arts. Hi, my name is Katie Dodd. I teach seventh grade science and ecology and marine biology in the upper school. I'm Ann Duffy and I teach chemistry, advanced chemistry and biology. I'm Mr. Duncan. I'm the upper school drama teacher as well as teaching upper school English classes. And I'm an 11th and 12th grade advisor. My name is Alec Edmonds. I'm the technical theater specialist. Um, I also run a broadcasting club and I teach upper school filmmaking and digital photography. My name is Miss Ellingson and I teach middle school and upper school choir. I am Kim Ng, the director of athletics. Let's have a great year. I'm Emma Ferguson and I teach Spanish and I advise in the 10th grade. I'm Miss Freistack and I teach middle school drama. I'm Michael Graviel, and I teach algebra and geometry. My name's Bart Gumry, and I work with students as they go through the college admissions process. And then I continue to work with all of you as alumni uh, through all of our alumni programs. Hi, my name is Mr. Hagen. I'm the Director of Student Wellbeing. Welcome back. My name is Ms. Hale, and I teach history. My name is Melissa Hayes, and I teach physical education. I'm Mr. Wen Yu Ho. You do speak Chinese? You can also call me He Lao Shi. I teach upper school history and social science. And this year I'm also the social science discipline lead. My name is Sarah Hollingset, and I teach the middle school technology courses, bots, make, and web, as well as run our middle school makerspace. Hey, I'm Ms. Jostel. I teach middle school math, and I'm also the fifth grade level coordinator. I'm John Kaminsky, and I teach math. My name is Stephen Keedy, and I teach upper school English. I am David Kelly Hedrick, teaching eighth grade English and coordinating outdoor programs in EBC Week. I'm Adam Kruger, and I teach physics in the upper school. My name is Miss Kuffner. I teach fifth grade science, and I'm also the school librarian. And I coach fifth, sixth girls soccer and ultimate. Hi, I'm David Lau, and I teach chemistry and math. Hi, my name is Jonathan Lawner Lewis. I teach upper school English. My name is Mr. Litton, and I am a new English teacher. This is Dr. Loosemore. This is my second year at Eastside Prep, and this year I'm teaching a little bit of Algebra 2 and a lot of statistics. Hi, I'm Molly Laurie. I teach sixth grade Spanish. I'm a sixth grade advisor, and I also teach one section of Spanish 1. Hi, everyone. I'm Ms. Lorne. I'm one of three school counselors at Eastside Prep. I'm Allison Lewis, and I teach seventh grade literary thinking, and I'm also one of our writing coaches on our college counseling team. I'm Mr. McKenzie, and I teach stagecraft. I'm Tammy Martin. I teach wellness, and I'm also the athletic trainer for our sports teams. I'm Bess McKinney, the EACL coordinator and an upper school social sciences teacher. <laughs> this is Lewis. I'll be on maternity leave with Lewis until February. I can't wait to see you all then. I'm Caitlin McLean, and I teach upper school history. My name is Angelica Mine. I'm a substitute teacher, so you will see me when I cover for your regular teacher. I also coach the middle school math team. My name is Gunnar Mein. I teach programming and I run the Fuser team, the scanning electron microscope and robotics. Hi, I'm Ms. Miller and I co-teach a seminar on deliberate design. I'm Karen Mills. I teach literary thinking in the fifth and sixth grade. Hi, my name is On Nuon. I teach middle school PE. Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Olson. I teach English in the upper school. I am a college counselor and I work with the Girls Empowerment Club. Hi, my name is Randy Reyna. I teach middle school math, specifically Math Foundations 5, Pre-Algebra, and Algebra 1. Hola, chiques. My name is Josefa Ruiz Mercader, and I teach Spanish in the middle school and in the upper school. And I also sponsor 
the uh, Spanish Table Club if you want to have extra practice. Hi, I'm Chrissy Russell. I teach sixth grade scientific thinking and eighth grade environmental practices. Hi, I'm Amy Sanchez and I'm a school counselor and seventh grade advisor. I'm Jeff Sanderson. I'm returning to EPS after a 10 year absence, having been on the founding faculty. I'm very excited this year to be teaching upper school math. I'll be teaching pre-calculus and calculus. Hello everyone, I'm Miss Sales and I teach upper school English. Hi, I'm Dr. Ted Scott. Uh, I teach in the upper school science courses, physics, geoscience, data science and astronomy, and I also coach cross country and track and field. I'm John Stegman, I'm the head of upper school. This year I'm also teaching seminars on research methods and indigenous rights. I'm Ms. Stearns, I teach Algebra 2, Pre-Calc, and I'm a 10th grade advisor. My name is Masato Sudo, uh, students call me Sudo Sensei. I teach upper school technology courses in programming, web design, and physical means digital. I also run the upper school makerspace. Hola, Aguilas. My name is Kelly Violet. This year I'm teaching a couple of our advanced Spanish language courses in our upper school. I'm also a process coach on the College Council team. Welcome back. I'm Adam Walter. I teach advanced biology and I'm a college counselor. Hello, I'm Mr. Wasink. I teach ninth grade biology, coach cross country, and am a ninth grade advisor. I'm Ryan Winkleman. I teach 6th and 8th grade social studies. I'm Malcolm Yates. I teach 7th grade Spanish and Spanish 3, and I advise in the 7th grade. Nos vemos en clase! My name is Dan Yesbik, and I am the full-time substitute teacher for EPS. EPS, we have a tradition at the start of every school year where we do the Tally Rally. And because we have a number of new folks joining us, we're going to teach it to you right now. The Tally Rally is based on our mission statement, our four points. So when I say think, you say critically. When I say act, you say responsibly. When I say lead, you say compassionately. When I say innovate, you say wisely. All right, so we're going to give it a try. Remember, we're going to say the first word, and you're going to call out the second. So here we go, our tally rally. Think! Critically! 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 critically. critically. Act! Responsibility! Lead! Compassionately! Innovate! Wisely! My name is Megan and my advice is to use your teachers as a resource. So whether that means you have a question on a math assignment, you need help with a thesis statement, or like you literally didn't understand last night's reading, reach out to your teacher. I know it might seem kind of scary, but find a time to meet outside of class. It'll go a long way in making your life less stressful and it'll make your quality of work on the assignment a hundred times better. One piece of advice that I have is that communication is really important, whether that looks like emailing a teacher to meet during office hours for some extra help or collaborating with peers on a project. I think not being afraid to speak up and advocate for yourself is an important skill to practice throughout high school. Hello, I'm Karin. Welcome to EPS. One piece of advice that I would have is to be aware of the privilege that you have by coming to a private school or EPS specifically. And although it may feel uncomfortable or wrong to discuss this privilege with your friends and peers, I think it's very important that you try to do so. Hi, this is Kenneth Young. I'm a senior this year and I came to EPS as a junior last year. One piece of advice I would give myself as a new incoming student last year would be to remember the school's philosophy of self-advocacy, uh, which basically means nothing at school is really off limits if you are willing to ask and find out where, uh, where you can go to find resources. Um, all the teachers there are totally willing to help you to find what you want. So as long as you're willing to step up and ask what do you truly want, they'll be there to help you find it. Hey everyone, uh, my name is Donna. I'm gonna be a senior this year, which is um, absolutely insane. Um, but one piece of advice that I have besides the 
don't procrastinate, do your work on time would have to be um, to ask for help when you need it and to, I guess, recognize and acknowledge how supported you are at EPS, whether it comes to uh, teachers, faculty, students, you really are supported. And I'll speak for myself in this case, once I realized that it was definitely a huge game changer. Um, so yeah, that's my one piece of advice. Hope it helps.